What's up, it's me, Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. And before we get started with today's video, remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So today's video is going to be my favorite authors. So I'm going to be talking to you all about the authors I love, what books they've written that I've read and loved. And these are authors of all different genres. Um, so let's just get started. So first is Dean Koontz. He is my favorite horror author. I have read the first two books in the Odd Thomas series, the first book in the Frankenstein series, and Innocence by him. Innocence is more of like a thriller, but he is still an amazing author and he is my favorite horror author. I love Odd Thomas. It is my favorite horror movie and my favorite horror book. I love it so much, so I had to mention him. And definitely if you want to get into horror, I just definitely recommend him. His books are not very scary and they are a great way to segue into the genre. And another author I have to talk about is Marissa Meyer. She is a young adult author of fantasy and sci-fi books. She wrote The Lunar Chronicles, which is Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, and Winter, which is an amazing series, one of my favorite YA series. I love it so much. This is a sci-fi fairy tale reimagining retelling series, and it is so good. Highly recommend. She also wrote a fantasy book called Heartless, which is a um, fairy tale retelling as well. And I really enjoyed that book. I give that book five stars. I love that one as well. She's just an overall amazing writer, super talented. Definitely go check her out her books if you are interested. And another author I have to talk about is J.R.L. Tolkien. He is incredible. I love The Lord of the Rings with my whole heart. I also enjoy The Hobbit, but not as much as Lord of the Rings. I gave... The Lord of the Rings book is very high ratings. I think I gave the first and the third book five stars and the second 4.5. And I really enjoyed them and I love the movies. But we are here to talk about the book. So this is a high fantasy series that follows a group of people. Well, they're not just people. There's people, there's like men, there's hobbits, which are like, yeah, there's hobbits, there's elves, there's dwarves, there's wizards. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. Um, I don't know, but there are so many different creatures and, like, um, beings, and it is so cool. And they go on this epic journey, um, that follows Frodo, and he is going to take this ring that is, like, very powerful, and it is a very powerful ring, and it needs to be destroyed. He is going to take it to Mount Doom, and... Yeah, so that is his story because he needs to destroy the ring. And he is the one that offers to carry it. And he is the only one that can carry it because he is a Baggins. He's Frodo Baggins and he can do it. Um, so that is that. Definitely go read those. If you want to get into it, I recommend The Hobbit. It's a very easy read. It's a middle grade. But I do love Lord of the Rings more. Um, but that is an adult high epic fantasy. So if that's not your thing, definitely still read The Hobbit and definitely give it a try. It is good. Um, another author I have to talk about is Sophie Like. She is my favorite dark romance author. I have read Brutal Prince and Broken Vow by her, which are both part of the Brutal Birthright series. Um, she mostly writes dark romance and she is such an incred incredible person. I follow her on social media, on Instagram and stuff, and I love her posts. She seems like such a genuine, sweet, and amazing person. And I have given both the books I read by her five stars. Absolutely love them. Definitely go check them out. And they are mafia romance, but they are not too dark. I definitely recommend the Brutal Birthright series if you want to get into the dark romance genre. And so definitely check out her books. She is amazing. Another author I have to talk about is Anna Huang, who is another romance author. She is more on the contemporary with a twist side. Like, I've read the first three books in the Twisted series by her, which are Twisted Love, Twisted Games, and Twisted Hate. And I've given them all five stars, although my favorite has to be Twisted Games. I love that book so much. Um, Reese Larson is my book boyfriend. I love him. And these books just follow a group of friends, siblings. Like, the first book is following Ava and Alex, and that is Brother's Best Friend. The second one is a bodyguard romance, and the third one is Enemies to Lovers and Best Friend's Brother. Um, and the last one I haven't read yet, but it is Fake Dating. So definitely check out her books. They do have a bit of a twist to them sometimes, like a bit of an emotional twist. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. Um, she's one of my favorite authors of all time, like 
obviously in this video. I think she might be my favorite author. I'm not sure though. I don't want to put, I don't want to say my favorite author because it changes every day, but she is definitely a contender for the top spot. And another author I have to talk about is Devney Perry. I have read three of her books, well, two books and one novella. So three of her stories. I've read The Bribe and The Booty, which are written under her pen name, Willa Nash. And those are part of the Calamity Montana series, which is a small town series set in Montana, Calamity Montana. And they are just a really good time, really sweet small town romances. I've also read, oh, is it called Timid? Yes, Timid, which is part of her Lark Cove series. And that was amazing as well. I've given The Bribe and Timid five stars. And I think I gave The Booty four stars, but just because it was a novella and it wasn't like the best thing I ever read, but four stars, still good. Love her books that I've read. And those are the only three I've read, but I've absolutely loved them and really want to read more, especially part of the Calamity Montana series. That series, incredible. Like, you have to go read it. Um, so she writes contemporary romance, and it is just always a good time. So the next author I have to talk about is Allie Hazelwood. I have read one of her books and three novellas. I have given her book, The Love Hypothesis, and her novellas, um, Under One Roof and Below Zero, five stars. And I gave Stuck On You, or Stuck On You, Stuck With You, I don't know. Stuck, stuck on you, stuck with you, whatever it's called. I gave them a 3.5 stars. I didn't enjoy it as much, but I still liked it. But I love her books so much. And I don't know, Love Hypothesis was one of the best books I read last year. So if that doesn't tell you something, uh, definitely go read her books. They're rom-coms. They're cute. They're all like women in STEM, enemies to lovers type of books with forced proximity. So if you like that, definitely go check them out. I haven't read Love on the Brain or The Love, Love Theoretically. I'm not as interested in Love on the Brain. I still would like to read it at some point, but I really want to read Love Theoretically. Apparently, it's her best book, according to some people, so I definitely need to see what the hype is about. So go check out some of her books if you are interested. Another author I have to talk about is um, Tessa Bailey. She wrote Secretly Yours, Hook, Line, and Sinker, and um, My Killer Vacation that I read. I read three of her books. They're all rom-coms, and I absolutely love them. Secretly Yours is one of my best books of this year. I love it so much. It came out this year and it is a grumpy sunshine kind of second chance um, book and it is just so good. I love the characters so much and I really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people didn't enjoy that book in particular of hers, but I really liked it and it's my favorite I've read by her. So, But I've given every book I've read by her five stars, so go check out her books. And another author I have to talk about is going to be Corinne Michaels. I've only read one book by her, but I did love it so much. And that is Forbidden Hearts. It is a single dad nanny romance. It is so good and you need to go check it out. It is like so good. I need to read more of her books. Um, I don't know what else. Like she's written other types of books and she writes a lot of single parent, which I love. That's my favorite trope. Single dad is my favorite trope. So super excited to read more of her works. Next is Lauren Asher. She wrote the Dreamland Billionaire series and the Dirty Air series. I've only read the first two books in the um, Dreamland Billionaire series, which are fine print and terms and conditions. Give them both five stars. Absolutely love them. They are such a good contemporary romance. A lot of people like the second one, Terms and Conditions, more. I personally like the fine print more, but again, I gave them both five stars. They're definitely both good books, and I need to read the last book in that series, which is a Final Offer. And she has a new series coming out, The Lakefront Billionaires? I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like Love Redesigned is the title of the book, and it's like purple cover, and I'm super excited to read that when it comes out. But first, I need to finish the Dreamland Billionaire series. I have so many books I need to read. And the next author I have to talk about is going to be Rebecca Rennick. She wrote Pinky Promise, which came out this year, and I absolutely love that book. One of the best books I read this year. It was so good, and it's a grumpy sunshine with this girl who needs money, and like she sells boba, and she has her own business, and she lives in a trailer, and she's just obsessed with the color pink, and he is like this grumpy businessman CEO type. Is he the CEO, or he might even be the boss, but he is just like that grumpy type, but of course they fall in love and it is so good. So next author I have to talk about is Suzanne Collins. She wrote The Hunger Games, which is my favorite series of all time. It is a YA sci-fi. It is dystopian and it is about these kids who 
two kids from every district are raped, one boy, one girl, and they go into these games where they fight to the death for the entertainment of the rich people. Uh, terrible, terrible concept, but such a good job in writing the book, and they are my favorite book series, so definitely go check out that trilogy. Um, another one is The Selection, which used to be my favorite book series, and that is written by Kira Cass. She is an amazing author. I've loved The Selection series. I've given most of the books five stars, and I just can't say enough good things. This is a dystopian fantasy romance about this prince and a bunch of girls who go and compete for his love. So definitely check that out. And the main character, America, is just so amazing. I love her so much. And so that is going to be it for this video. I have a lot more authors I love. So if you want a part two, definitely let me know. But if you made it this far, please let me know your favorite author or favorite authors, if you can't choose just one like me. Um, also leave me a blue emoji. And before you go, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on post notifications, and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.